In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made all those reborn in Christ a chosen race and a royal priesthood, grant us, we pray, the grace to will and to do what you command, that the people called to eternal life may be one in the faith of their hearts and the homage of their deeds. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations to which they have come, and gather them from all sides to bring them back to their land. I will make them one nation upon the land, in the mountains of Israel, and there shall be one prince for them all. Never again shall they be two nations, and never again shall they be divided into two kingdoms. No longer shall they defile themselves with their idols, their abominations, and all their transgressions. I will deliver them from all their sins of apostasy and cleanse them so that they may be my people and I may be their God. My servant David shall be prince over them and there shall be one shepherd for them all. They shall live by my statutes and carefully observe my decrees. They shall live on the land that I gave to my servant Jacob, the land where their fathers lived. They shall live on it forever they and their children, and their children's children, with my servant David, their prince forever. I will make with them a covenant of peace. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them, and I will multiply them and put my sanctuary among them forever. My dwelling shall be with them. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Thus the nation shall know that it is I, the Lord, who make Israel holy, when my sanctuary shall be set up among them forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant isles and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd, his flock. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep, and the oxen. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Many of the Jews who had come to Mary and seen what Jesus had done began to believe in him, but some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. So the chief priests and the Pharisees convened the Sanhedrin and said, What are we going to do? This man is performing many signs. If we leave him alone, all will believe in him, and the Romans will come and take away both our land and our nation." But one of them, Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, said to them, You know nothing, nor do you consider that it is better for you that one man should die instead of the people, so that the whole nation 
may not perish. He did not say this on his own, but since he was high priest for that year, he prophesied that Jesus was going to die for the nation, and not only for the nation, but also to gather into one the dispersed children of God. So from that day on, they planned to kill him. So Jesus no longer walked about in public among the Jews, but he left for the region near the desert to a town called Ephraim, and there he remained with his disciples. Now the Passover of the Jews was near, and many went up from the country to Jerusalem before Passover to purify themselves. They looked for Jesus and said to one another as they were in the temple area, What do you think, that he will not come to the feast? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's gospel passage, the Sanhedrin have come to the conclusion that Jesus' gospel of justice and compassion has become too much for them. To justify their actions, they rationalize a prophecy to eliminate Jesus. This gospel is relevant relevant rather to our lives today as we see men and women who dare to speak truth to power. Anyone who takes God's call to be his prophet seriously is required to be prepared for ridicule, isolation, rejection, and even death. These are the costs of proclaiming God's compassion, forgiveness, and justice to societies and institutions that are opposed to these fundamental principles. But the promise of the resurrection is for those who dare to take up the cause of justice and reconciliation. These are the people who proclaim that God has redeemed his people So let us pray for the courage and the strength to speak the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ in our words, in our actions, and in our very lives. In now recognizing our need for God's mercy and grace, we turn to him with these our prayers. For those who govern our nation, that they may be motivated by the common good with no thought of self-interest, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the church, that we may share Christ's gifts of unity and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the wealthy nations of our world may share their riches and resources with the poorer nations, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that the journey we make next week with Christ may lead us from death to life and from sorrow to joy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. In a special way today, we pray for the repose of the soul of Jose Sosa, for whom this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those in nursing facilities or hospitals, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. For these we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, we ask you to hear the prayers we offer you this day and to answer them according to your most holy will. For we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
May the gifts we offer from our fasting be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray, and as an expiation for our sins, may they make us worthy of your grace and lead us to what you promise for eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay, qui toles peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the blessed sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you may make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.